Hello, I'm Ben Rushbrook, Principal Ecologist at Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust. So I work on the Southern Chalk Stream project. Chalk streams are a globally rare habitat. In England, we support about 85% of that habitat across the world. And the chalk stream work that we do is looking at promoting, protecting and preserving the really important chalk stream um, invertebrate communities that these habitats support. They're also really valuable for monitoring the health of our chalk rivers. Um, being such a critical part and being sensitive to a range of the threats such as pollution, siltation, habitat degradation or, or perhaps invasive non-native species. Because invertebrates are sensitive to these pressures, they're really good for monitoring the health of our chalk rivers. A key part of the Southern Chalking Project is promoting, protecting, preserving our white claw crayfish populations. My name is Tom Selby. I am an assistant ecologist at Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust. The primary uh, threat to white claw crayfish are non-native invasive uh, crayfish species, um, such as the signal crayfish, which outcompete the native crayfish. They also carry a disease known as crayfish plague, which is up to 100% fatal to native crayfish if the crayfish plague spores get into a white claw crayfish population. We've been working with the Bristol Zoological Society on a program of captive rearing and captive breeding of white clawed crayfish. This spring, we did our annual collection of buried females from the top of the itchin. I'm Jo Gore and I'm an ecologist at Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust. So it was a real privilege to be involved with the collection. We put the traps out uh, two weeks previously, which involves um, putting some artificial refuge traps and then return two weeks later uh, with the team to check the traps and we were really lucky. I think we put 40 traps out and we got a good handful of buried females. So what we do on that day is we collect females that are holding the eggs so they were mate in the October or the November before uh, and then those females generally hold those eggs till late spring and summer. So we go in early spring and we look to collect those females with the eggs and then we take them back to Bristol Zoo where they will allow those uh, females to continue to hold those eggs until they're ready to hatch and the juveniles be released. Buried female collection days are always an exciting day to see how many crayfish with eggs we can find. But since these collections uh, usually take place in April, the water can be cold, um, particularly when we're um, hand searching in the river for crayfish, but it's all worthwhile. I'm Matt Tennant and I'm an ecologist for the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust. Uh, it was a really good experience for me. I got to work with Debbie and Megan and had a really good day. For me, it was really good to see the actual partnership to how much care and attention uh, the Bristol Zoo team put into their surveys and they even named each crayfish. So that was really sweet. And the great thing about this piece of work is typically we think within the wild, about 20% of the juveniles will make it to one year of age. Whereas by doing it this way, we think over 80% of the juveniles will make it to one year of age. So we have a huge increase in the number of crayfish that are surviving. And so the real valuable thing about having this increased survivorship is that we can return those adults back to the location we collected them. And then we've got this huge number of juveniles that we can either release into an arc site or to supplement the river population as we've been doing for the last 10 years. And so actually we're having a very limited impact on that donor population, whereas we're having a fantastic increased value for our work either at that ARC site or that river supplementation location. The Southern Chalk Stream Project is a partnership project working with the Bristol Zoological Society, the Environment Agency, Natural England, and has been funded for a number of years by a range of partners, including the Environment Agency, Natural England, but also the Vitacrest Conservation Trust. And it's absolutely crucial to have that range of partners bringing in their expertise, skills, allowing us to really deliver fantastic conservation for white claw crayfish. But what's critical to understand is apart from the recent discovery of white claw crayfish at our Winnable Moors Nature Reserve, where they were discovered last year for the first time in 30 years, actually the majority of the work has been delivered on private land. So private landowners are a crucial partner for the Southern Chalk Stream project. And absolutely without their support, we wouldn't be able to deliver a wide range of the conservation measures we've delivered over the last 15 years.